It's like building up. Which ones are those? <clears throat> the unnecessarily spicy something Carolina <laughs> Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I'm starting to cry. It's either crying or sweating, one of the two. What's up, guys? Today I'm at Epcot for the 2024 Food and Wine Festival to try some eats, sweets, and drinks. Let's go. All right, first stop is the brewing lab at the Odyssey Building. We're going to try the Carolina Reaper Pepper Curry Wings. I really thought that's hot. There's no way it's hot. All right, first up we have unnecessarily spicy yet extremely tasty Carolina Reaper pepper curry wings with creamy cucumber rita. There's no way it's that spicy. It has like an Indian spice to it. It's, good. it's definitely going to build up. It's spicy though. It, has, it definitely has a good kick to it. Not bad. I'm give it a 7 out of 10. It's spicy though. This is not the weather for spicy food. <sighs> I'm about to get really hot. I'm about to overheat. It just lingers on the tongue. It's like building up. Which ones are those? <clears throat> the unnecessarily spicy something Carolina <laughs> Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, um, eating yeah. this whole thing is going to be difficult. Uh, I think I'm making a mess. I like it. I like the pain. I was actually starting to cool down there for a second. And this just reactivated everything. I gotta finish. I gotta finish it. It's like hot ones. You know? This is your part you start asking me questions. It's not hot. Mess of uh, intense heat. That's not bad. It has a good flavor and it has a good spice. But as you can see, it's a little bit too much for me. But. I'll still give it about a seven. Seven and a half out of ten. It did its job. And back again, my personal favorite, the pickled milkshake. All right, now to bring down the heat a little bit. Very delicious. Mm. This immediately immediately distinguished the, the heatness. Yeah, this is good. I love this thing. I'm not even like pickles. And it's like, it's curing my tongue right now. And for drink, we have the pickled hard cider from Three Daughters Brewing. My palate's probably destroyed after those wings. Let's see if this is any good. That, I don't like that. I don't even taste the pickle. It just tastes like a weird seltzer. I don't know, I guess it's a six out of 10. Next up is macetizers. We have the cheesesteak, macaroni and cheese with shaved beef, peppers, onions, and breadcrumbs. That's hot. You can taste the bell peppers. Not bad. You can taste the breadcrumbs. They're a little crunchy, they're not stale. You can definitely taste the peppers. And you can taste uh, the, the uh, what is this, cheesesteak? Oh. I'll get an eight, 8 out of 10. I'd get this again. I really wish they had like a spicy mac and cheese. That's what I'm craving. At Festival Favorites, I think I'm going to get the Parish Brewing Franc Strawberry. And for dessert, we have the Frozen S'mores, which is a chocolate milkshake with marshmallow syrup topped with mini marshmallows and a graham cracker. Oh yeah, that's good. It tastes like a s'more. I love s'mores. And like in a drink form, fantastic. Yeah. The chocolate's good, it's not overly sweet. The graham cracker, it could use a little more graham cracker because I like graham cracker. Maybe like dust it, like a nice layer of graham cracker dust on the top. And the, like the graham cracker itself. It'd make it perfect. But yeah, that's not bad. I think about an eight and a half, eight and a half out of 10. I actually think it's better than the pickle milkshake. It's good. Next up is the beer. Ooh, uh, I don't know if the beer tastes weird or is it coming from going from the s'more milkshake to the beer. It tastes kind of sour. Okay, that's good. I could taste the strawberry in it, and I like the uh, unfiltered look. 
I like a good unfiltered beer. Well, I'll give it about seven and a half out of 10. Next up is the milled and mold. Mulled, mold. Uh, we're gonna get, I guess we're gonna get this. Here we have the fig and balsamic cheesecake with fig jam and pomegranate. First up, got my trusty fork here. We're gonna try the cheesecake here. Mm. Oh yeah, that's deli that's delicious. It's so creamy. I just had the the fig, and the cheesecake, the pecans all together at once, and it was like this beautiful explosion in my mouth. That was a really good flavor. That's been my favorite thing so far today. That's fantastic. I give that a nine out of ten. That's really good. Definitely recommend it. It's not too sweet. And for drink, we have the Coppertail Brewing Fallen Fruit Blueberry Pie Hard Cider. I don't know what this, I taste fruit, but I don't taste the blueberry part of it. It is good though, it's not very sweet, but it definitely tastes like a cider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd give it an eight, eight and a half out of 10. And also we have the Blake's Hard Cider Co. Cider Mill Donut Hard Cider. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that flavor. I'm getting like cinnamon and maple or something. Donut cider wasn't bad. I probably wouldn't get it again, but I'd definitely give it like a seven out of 10. I like this one better for sure. The blueberry pie hard ciders is better. That is my day at the 2024 Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. Food and drinks are great. My favorite was the, what is it? The fig and balsamic cheesecake. Absolutely delicious. That one was really good. Um, wasn't very sweet, very creamy, moist. Tastes like fall. And uh, good drink, my favorite drink was the blueberry, what is it, blueberry pie? Oh my God, I'm forgetting the names. The cider, also very good. And the s'mores milkshake was absolutely fantastic. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.